But vaccine shortages are once again causing closures at vaccination centers, including the Del Mar site, which is also recovering from a scheduling error in the state's appointment system. Fox 5's Kelsey Christensen is live in Del Mar with what you need to know. Kelsey. Hey Kathleen, yeah, this Del Mar site has been extra busy this last week, maybe even the busiest it's ever been to fill those appointments. But that means come this weekend, they're not going to have any supply for appointments. We had to scramble because the state only gave us 6,000 doses for the entire week. Healthcare workers at the Del Mar Vaccination Center run by Scripps Health have been working extra hard to get residents vaccinated this week. Yesterday was, was a hoot. I mean, we had 2,600 2, patients come through and we had scheduled staffing for only 1,500. The state says the chaos was due to a human error in the state's appointment scheduling system, My Turn, which scheduled an additional 1,800 appointments for Monday and Tuesday at the Del Mar site. They reach out Sunday night when all this was going on to the county. They put me in touch with the state and I said, look, we don't want to cancel patients even later in the week. Can we get 1,800 doses of Pfizer so that we can just keep going? And the answer was we don't have any vaccines for you. Meaning Scripps has to dip into its weekly vaccine supply to account for the additional 1,800 appointments this week. So there will be little to no doses left for this weekend, forcing the Del Mar site to close Friday through Sunday. Dr. Sharif expects those weekend appointments will be rescheduled automatically for next Monday through the My Turn system. And it's not just the Del Mar site dealing with supply shortages. The San Diego Copley Price YMCA site is closed through Thursday and the San Diego Central Regional Immunization Clinic is closed on Wednesday. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine arrived in San Diego County on Monday. The hope is the new vaccine will help fill demand at vaccine centers. We we'll have some healthcare workers that would like to get vaccinated and some of them are waiting for Johnson & Johnson. So our plan this week, only 1,300 doses, offer it to our employees first. If those spots don't fail, then we'll open it up to patients. But I'm hoping if we get more that we could offer that at the Del Mar site as well. But as more residents become eligible for the vaccine, Dr. Sharif remains concerned about vaccine supply, which could force more closures in the near future once again. And of course, another issue that sites could deal with this week is weather as we're expecting that storm to come in. We've seen closures at Petco Park. So again, we will keep tabs on that and I bring you the, the very latest. Kathleen, we'll send it back to you. All right, Kelsey, thank you for that report.